to the Tutor Lounge. Uh, we're bringing you uh, this um, session from Tutukaka, um, and we have got um, somebody from overseas today from America, from Chicago, Illinois. This is Luke Otwell. Um, thanks for coming in, Luke. No problem, man. Pleasure Excellent. Here. He's here um, to do a few shows with us um, around uh, uh, this uh, holiday period. Um, so he's a multi-instrumentalist. Um, and we're going to get straight into it, just um, getting you to tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit, yeah. where you started up, um, you know, your music and what your kind of, um, your draw was, and then uh, you pick up your axes and go through life now. Cool. Um, well, it started off about how I started playing music. I guess I started like when I was like 13 or 14 years old, because back in my school was either you were doing good in craze, like science stuff, extracurriculars or sports and stuff and those never really caught on and um, my sister had a guitar later on. Actually me, I started off playing bass and my friend, me and my friend went and started a band for whatever reason and yeah I just always had one lying around and, and I couldn't really stand being bored so I just had to do something. Sure, know? so in, in your schools over there um, you can take music as like your major su subject? Um, not really, I mean you can go to band. You know, yeah, in high school, right. or uh, once you get to the co collegiate level, yeah. then you can take. You there are a lot of people that go to school for. How close really. is school to like the commercial glee program? You know. Oh, is, is it, it like it depends. Um, you know, there is like madrigals and stuff like that, but uh, I feel like now it's probably when I was glee yeah, wasn't yeah. quite as big. Sure. But now so it's now, probably getting yeah. a little bit closer. You know? Yeah, it could almost turn into like your major subject is you. Um, here's your subject. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be bad, you know, you get um, out the other side of it really, right, really well. Um, so on your guitar, I've been playing with you uh, today um, on all of your instruments here. Um, what is it about that guitar, um, you know, that um, you love and, and playing guitar and we'll get on to some bass? Um, yeah, know. well like I said, I started off playing bass and then, so I play a lot of guitar. I like, I started off playing like blues, finger picking stuff. Plus like another part of it is that I just, I always lost my picks. Right. So like I just played with my fingers. So, uh, okay. I would get like a syncopated rhythm going and just And like there's like a rhythm I stick to a little bit like where I got the thumb and then I got my finger my four finger and and there and that's like the basis of a lot of my right. grooves. Can you just slow that down yeah, for yeah. us and just, just show us that? So here, here, here's the gist of it. Right. So you got a thumbs on the E string. Yeah, yeah. And then you're just plucking two other ones. So it's yeah, like two a, other a push one. and pull. Almost, yeah, yeah, it? yeah. I mean, and they can be either ones, really. I can, I'll hit. You know these fingers up with with whatever, whatever I'm feeling. But that that's pretty much the gist of it. And I'm right. starting to try and incorporate all my fingers. Right. Yeah. But so that's little thinking not wasted down there. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, so you talked about syncopation before. Um, syncopation. Can you explain that for us? I mean, I don't honestly. I don't really know. I hear it all the yeah. time, and and people say it when they hear me play. But so it's not on the floor. It's not four four. No. I mean. Parts of it is that it's like you know almost like a hi hat. Yes, sure. And that's what I try to do with these fingers. Got gotcha. like you. Right. So you're playing in between the notes, yeah. really. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. I'm trying to fill, fill it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. Um, what is it that you play if you're kind of just sitting in your bedroom sometime and you might be feeling uh, solely or blue? Um, what do you play? What's the first thing? Is there something that you always just gravitate to? I mean that yep. finger picking style. You know, I like. You know, anything I'll just rip off other mm -hmm. musicians. You know, yeah. try not to rip too much, but yeah. Yeah. you know, different things. Um, I usually go straight to finger picking. You know, yeah. and just yeah. muck around until I'm like, okay, I've been doing this for too long and I haven't really moved anywhere. So. Right. Yeah, talking about moving, um, on to um, vocals. Yeah. So you do some singing and some songwriting yeah, as well, absolutely. and your lyrics, where do your lyrics come from? Um, It's been changing, especially recently, and, and it, that was part of my biggest struggle because there was just a point of being a musician where it's like, and being a guitarist where it's like, wow, there's so many good guitarists out there. 
mm. that are better than sure. me that are so yeah. technically skilled yeah, yeah. and it's like I can't like yeah. it's it's so hard to make it like that and mm -hmm. you have to just mm -hmm. sit down and shred so yeah. I you know wanted to work on my voice yeah. and being able to be a player and a singer at the same time yeah. perfect yeah well said man um, with singing um, and, and songwriting um, there is no competitiveness because it's all original. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, play us something, man, that um, um, you, know, you wrote. Play us one of your faves. Okay, this is a good, this is one. And, um, you I've can already had to listen to these, and these are great. So let's see, uh, well, let me get the feel. I am feeling too good to occurred to me every time I've heard you sing is that when you're talking your voice is completely different when you sing and I heard kind of layers of Willow Nelson and Bob Dylan in there Maybe, you know? yeah. and it's quite a tony voice you have yeah. a, quite a high tone but when you talk it's quite a deep tone yeah um, I do like getting in the deep registers and, and that's kind of harder to do because you got to kind of fill it back it all up you know because with those deep registers but I kind of like, you know, I like that twangy, folky sound. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I get a lot of my voice from, not from my grandmother, but my grandmother used to sing to me, and she has that raspy, like, hanging on by a thread right. voice that right. I really yeah. I really dig. Yeah. And I, whenever, I can just hear it in other musicians all the time, Bob Dylan, William yeah. Nelson, yeah. the yeah. Ava Brothers is somebody who, yeah. like, I was like, that sounds like my grandma, and I really like that. And yeah. so I try to emulate that that like feeling sure when I yeah. sing yeah mmm yeah it's, um, I, I like that different if intonation is the right it's sound for it but it's you see this face and this other thing comes out of it you know you yeah. go it doesn't sound like it looks <laughs> like you know it doesn't just it's um it's very cool that um so onto some bass guitar while you've got that uh, yeah bass sure behind why not? you why not would be cool um yeah just pull that red machine out and well, like, like I said before, I started off playing bass, and bass is like, I just, I like funk, like, which yeah. may not, may not make sense after hearing yeah. that, but, you know, I like... But we get into some slap and stuff, right? Yeah, like... Cool. Like that stuff, and... Can we just have a quick look at... Um, a slow down version of all the yeah, slap, man. Sure. Um, so, thumb down. W one thing you would want to check out is my thumb, and I try to hit it on the up too, which is something I learned from a guy named Victor Wooten. But beautiful. You know what? 
um, just see if we can swing that right around that and get that camera to look right down that tunnel. If I don't know if it's possible around that way because it's so nice. You're using three sink, uh, three fingers, right? Yeah. Right three fingers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get down that tunnel, but it'd be great if you can just play right down that camera and we can right. do a close up of that. And so just play through for twenty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah seeing I'll those fingers move. Check out the. I'll check out this riff. Is it an advantage to be a, a guitarist first? I don't. I don't know. Um, I was a bassist first, and I think that was an advantage with me with developing a unique style because I was more rhythmic and, um, you know, one of the first like Larry Graham, who's the bassist from Sly and the Family Stone, uh -huh. and he's kind of like regarded as the inventor of slap bass, but he used to play with his mother and he i think it was just him and his mother and he had to fill in he had to like bring a right, different yeah, aspect yeah, to yeah, the table sure. so what was she on what's for yeah what was she was what singing was she or something yeah, yeah. Singing. and so he would you know hit those notes that he wasn't really even hitting just to you know get that rhythm in there right. so and that's kind of you know yeah how i um, added that to bass and then later to guitar to just kind of get that like you know just have something always getting hit at some point to keep yeah it interesting yeah if you had a choice um it's a probably um ridiculous question in a way but for, for people out there who are looking at it going should i play guitar should i play bass should i play guitar should i play bass what would you say um i know what i'd say i'd say go and play bass because i believe that bass is going to be the new lead guitar yeah uh it's gonna be, everybody's going to want to play it well everyone says if you want to be in a rock band learn how to play yeah. And it is very important. But, and then it's like a hard question to answer because if you learn guitar, then you can also learn how mm -hmm. to play bass because yep. these four strings Definitely. are the first four strings. So I would say do your research and, and keep that in mind. But um, if you're a good guitarist and a good instrument, I feel like you'll always get off on playing bass. Right. and like have a good time playing bass yeah if you play I would say if you want to play guitar you should pick up a bass too yeah I believe that yeah and um, it's it's I think it's the most underrated instrument of all of them because it, it does encompass um, you know groove uh, melody um, fatness yeah. you know, and, and body and, and um, you know it's all wrapped up in that one thing but it seems that people um, it's just not so attracted to it well, because it's not a lot of the groove. Line. A lot of the grooves are in the bass. Like no matter what kind of songs oh, you're yeah, playing, like yeah, that's where yeah. like the real hook can sometimes be, and people yeah. don't realize it because it's so far back in the mix, or yeah. it's not the fancy, you know, guy on stage shredding. Yeah. But but it's quite surprising. Um, people um, don't um, sometimes recognize that uh, Paul McCartney was a bass player. Yeah, right. right. Sting's a bass player. Yeah, right. Cheryl Crow's a bass player. Right. They all write and play. Their songs off bass, live and on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pretty amazing, man. I, I think um, it's a great instrument, and, and I, I love it myself. Being a drummer, I think it's fantastic. Um, can you just play a little bit of like um, some bluesy or soul-y stuff, just on, on the on the guitar? Yeah, on the guitar. Oh, I'm sorry, on the on the bass. Yeah, I'll try. You know. It's um, it's a great um, instrument to take up. I would recommend it, um, and I'm sure you would. Yeah. Um, look, thanks, Luke. Uh, that was very cool, mate. Um, oh, no and I know you can also play uh, piano because we had to listen to that before. Um, so we Ooh. might even think. Of, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, good enough, mate. Good enough to perform tomorrow night. Um, very good, man. Thanks for coming in.